Have you experienced wildlife at nighttime? Perhaps you've seen it on Discovery Channel. But the Belize Zoo wants to give you an up close and personal experience of nocturnal wildlife at twilight. Okay, this is what he. Re oh, wow! This is the Kinkaju or Night Walker. Some people also call him the honey bear of Belize. This, this is a work of passion, and, and anybody who works at the zoo, they really love what they do, and, and I think that is one of the contributing factors so far to our success at the Belize Zoo. The people that work here, really into the animals. Here at the zoo, we have seven, seven tapirs, and this is how a full-grown tapir will look. And the tapir is, a, is our national animal as well, or the local name is mountain cow, or in Spanish, el danto. The Belize Zoo is home to over 200 animals. Soso Pot, who has taken over as director following the death of zoo founder Sharon Matola, shared with us the challenges of inheriting leadership under difficult circumstances. The transition has been very challenging. Uh, Sharon was a very good fundraiser. The transition happened at a time when we were in one of the, I would say, equivalent to a big disaster. Right. You know, the pandemic has hit us very hard. Financially, our main source of revenue is through gate receipts, sales in the gift shop, sales in the cafeteria, and also group stays over the Tropical Education Center. Pre-pandemic, the staffing were like 58. Uh, at the peak of the pandemic, we went down to less than 30 employees. Today, we're back up to 38 employees, and all the employees are on a shift basis, reduced days. But we, we keep on working and doing what we're supposed to do for the well-being of the animals at the Belize Zoo and Tropical Education Center. That's his picture, but there is the real bird. Hi, Hoodwink. Hi, Hoodie. <laughs> the pandemic has meant going into survival mode for the institution that houses and protects Belize's wildlife treasures. I remember one of um, Ms. Sharon's words, she said, it's sacrifice time for everybody. Well, we the zookeepers, we love what we do. So we do it with a passion. Yeah. It's not just to come and here is your food, have a good day. No, we have to observe, we have to train. It's like our friends, because we spend every day here with the animals. Yeah. So, and they rely on us, and um, it, it's a job, yes, because we, we, we get paid for it, but it's more than that for, for us. Next, we're going to look for the puma. She is, um, this is an average size female Belizean puma in there. Celso Pot says it was the loyalty of Belizean visitors, most of whom grew up visiting the zoo, that has saved it. What most people don't know is that we have the Tropical Education Center where you can actually come and spend a night with us and then tour the zoo at night. And so most of the people doing night tour were tourists or school groups we host at the Tropical Education Center. But during the pandemic, we started offering it to Belizeans. And so we had a lot of Belizean families uh, coming to the zoo to experience the zoo at night. We saw the puma, and in here we have the little margay. Look at that one. Look there. Right there. So for 2021, we had just over 25,000 Belizeans coming to the zoo uh, to visit. We had over 17,000 adults and over 17,000 kids, Belizean kids coming to the zoo. All their visitation contributed to the operation of the zoo. So that also helped us in feeding the animals keeping the lights on and paying the staff. So this is the ocelot. Oh my goodness. The ocelot, and here he is. Definitely. This is a male. Ready to give a show. Eight year old ocelot, his name is Rayburn. And we got him um, from a farm, Rayburn Ridge Farm, eight years ago. You're petting him, I thought he was angry. <laughs> no, this is how they greet. This is, really? how they, this is how they greet each other. If he was mad, he would be jumping on the fence. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna put some meat on the fence and he's gonna jump for it. Okay, all right. Ready? You ready? 
Okay. This is what he. Oh wow. Indy the tapir. Hi Indy. Here we go. So let me show you. Just put it in his mouth okay. like this. And while he eats the carrots, you can always give him an, a quick pet on his head so, okay. so you feel how thick his skin is. I got it. Are you giving me a real short one? <laughs> They're all short. <laughs> Just put it in his mouth. Okay. Don't be afraid. Put it in his mouth, okay. then you pet him on the head. Oh my God. I have more. As you can probably tell, my shaky attempt to pet Indy was quickly reassured with the realization that she was just a friendly tapir that loved carrots as much as I do. And this is the American saltwater crocodile. And his name is Brutus. And he's very big. He's huge. He's like 13 feet long. Yep, and he's, he's still growing. And we really appreciated this jaguar that rolls over on command. Check this out. Roll over. Can you roll over? Roll over, Lindo. Look at that. They're very smart. Oh, man. Good boy. Oh, 